Hey guys, so today's video is about my current hair care routine. Before I start, I'm going to tell y'all about my hair and what I've put it through. I've put it through so much, I feel so bad for my hair. So freshman year, I bleached half my hair blonde and then I dyed it all the way black and my natural hair is black. And I just used a box kit from Walmart. And then I bleached my hair blonde and I used the L'Oreal bleach powder and the Ion Sensitive Scalp Developer and I bleached it blonde all the way to my roots and then I dyed it purple using Purple Haze from Manic Panic and then I bleached it blonde again using the same L'Oreal Ion mix and I used the Midnight color for Manic Panic and I dyed it blue and then I bleached my hair again blonde and then I dyed it green using like a mix of random colors I had and then I couldn't have colored hair anymore so I bleached my hair blonde again and then I dyed it brown using a box dye from Target and then I dyed my hair black because I need to have black hair so I dyed it black using a box kit from Target and yeah so my hair has been through so much every time I change my hair color uh, before bleaching it I would uh, wash it and shampoo it with dish detergent and I always heard that was what you should do but it never worked and all it did was dry my hair out so at the end of all this my hair was extremely dry and extremely br brittle and if you tried to brush my hair then your fingers would get caught and it was just a mess. I had like a bird's nest in my hair. It was just tangly and knotted and brittle and dry and just disgusting. So I had to decide whether to cut my hair and start fresh or repair my hair and I didn't want to cut my hair because if I were to cut all the damaged hair off it would be a considerable amount of my hair and I would have to go for like a pixie cut or something and I I don't think I could ever pull that off. So I decided to repair my hair and I had a lot of repairing I needed to do but you know I had to do it. <laughs> so I asked my mom what should I do to repair my hair and she told me to use this hair oil. It's the Dabur Amila Hair Oil Natural Care for Beautiful Hair and you can get it at like an Indian store or something. It's really good. It's really um, good for uh, hair growth. It promotes hair growth. So what I do is I take some in my palm of my hands and I rub it through the roots of your scalp and I massage it in and I get it like till here, you know. I don't run it through all of my hair because I I use the OGX Hydrate and Repair Extra Strength Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. I use it kind of like a hair mask. I run it through the rest of my hair all the way to my ends. And I leave those two in for about an hour. And you know, go eat something or watch TV, kill some time. And uh, after that, I shampoo my hair twice. Because when you use this strong hair oil, you have to shampoo your hair twice. Otherwise, you'll have oil residue on your hair and that's just not cute. You'll have flat hair, it'll smell bad, not cute. So I use this Selsum Blue um, Dandruff Shampoo. It's for dry scalp and hair and I do have a dry scalp because of and dry hair because of all those times I've bleached my hair. So it's really great for getting rid of dandruff and also repairing hair and I do it twice and then I, um, I use this conditioner again and I do this combo about once a month and it really helps my hair, but in the meantime, I have to wash my hair also. So twice a week when I do wash my hair, because I only wash my hair twice a week, because you want to let those natural oils, um, you know, penetrate like through all of your hair. So in the meantime, I use this shampoo up. I only use it once. Um, twice a week I shampoo my hair once, and then I use the regular, you know, conditioner, the same one, the OGX. And also I use this Garnier Whole Blends Nourishing Mask, the Avocado Oil and Shea Butter. It's really good. It's for dry and brittle hair. It's supposed to repair your hair. And so after I um, wash my hair and rinse out all the conditioner and wash out the mask, I, I don't ever blow dry my hair. I only let it air dry. And so I run this through my hair, through the ends of my hair. I don't put this on my scalp because if you put conditioner on your scalp, it'll just make your hair flat and it'll clog your like roots. Not cute and it won't, your hair won't grow. So this is the Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream and um, it's for dry and frizzy hair. It's for damaged hair. And I take a, like a quarter size and I just run it through my hair. It's really good. Like, I mean, this is really strong. This is a good stuff. If you are want to get anything out of this, 
use this after you shower. And so I let my hair dry just regularly. I don't um, blow dry it or straighten it or anything, but sometimes I do straighten my hair for special occasions. So I use this Tresemme Expert Selection Keratin Smooth um, Flat Iron Smoothing Spray, and it's kind of like a heat protectant, but it's not. Because I know that Tresemme does have a heat protectant. This isn't it, but it's similar to it. And yeah, that's what I do for my hair. And whenever I do wash my hair, I never use hot water because hot water will only dry your hair out. Um, I use cold water because it will like lock in the nutrients in your hair and it's really good for your hair to um, wash it with cold water. So yeah, in the past couple months I've been doing this routine, um, my hair has uh, repaired a lot and it's healed so much and it used to be so dry and brittle and like if I did this to it it would break but now it's so strong and I'm so happy with what's happened to my hair. I'm so glad I didn't cut my hair because that's never the solution. Never just cut off your hair. Instead, I mean unless it's like really really bad, cut off your hair. But my hair was really bad but I made it work, you know. You can't just give up on hair, you have to work with it. So yeah, that's how I get my hair to be healthy and strong and it's been working for me and I hope it works for you and if y'all have any tips and tricks on how to get um, strong hair and how to repair really damaged uh, hair that you've bleached and dyed bajillion times please let me know in the comments below and give it a big th thumbs up if you like this video and yeah bye